Alright people, how's it going? Scotty, so I just want to wish you all a happy 4th of July, which of course is America's Independence Day. America's Independence Day means a lot to me personally because of the fact that I'm Scottish, which of course you, if you do understand the history, you'll understand before the American Revolution, the Scots had fought and colonised the entire South, and of course Scots had also fought on the British side. So there was largely a strong, you know, British civil war going on in America during this whole American Revolution. And of course, a large part of that was in the South, as more than half the colonial army that fought uh, the American Revolutionary War from the South were of course Scots. So of course I do take a lot of pride in my own heritage, my own history, and Scotland is largely connected to America in, you know, a large way from, of course, you know, religion, from the whole thing to do with the foundations of America, the whole connection, even with the, you know, the presidency and everything like that. And, of course, if you look at the American Constitution, it largely takes influence from the likes of the Magna Carta and, of course, uh, the Declaration of Our Growth. Uh, take Thomas Jefferson, for example. Thomas Jefferson uh, was actually from Scottish descent. Uh, I think he was related to King Robert the Bruce, <laughs> which is quite remarkable. And of course, I think somewhere along the line, George Washington was related to England, and somewhere down the line to a, a Scottish king. So there was a you know a, a large connection between Britain uh, from the heritage uh, into America. But of course, from a wee bit of the history, if you look back to 1764 back to the sugar tax. This is what it more or less all stemmed and uh, led towards the actual American Revolution. It was because of the fact that in 1764 when the sugar tax was laid on, uh, it was a capitalist class that led the charge to end that. And then of course you had the Stamp Act which came about in 1766. Of course that was something that was, you know, despised that was ended, and then a year later they replicated something very similar to that, called the Town's End Act. Of course, again, it was the capitalist class that basically ended that. <laughs> and if that wasn't enough, you then had, in 1773, the Tea Tariff. So all these tariffs were getting laid on the American people, and they're, you know, the merchant capitalist class were just getting sick and tired of it. And of course, that's what uh, sparked the revolution, the creation from the merchant capitalist class of the Boston Tea Party, which led to them throwing tea overboard and then of course the American Revolution. So that's just a wee bit of history and, the, the, you know, the American Revolution was a capitalist revolution. This mercantil mercantilist class uh, from Britain was more or less trying to push on their, you know, all their protectionist tariffs and all the rest of it, and of course the capitalist class le led the charge to end all of that. Not to forget, it's one of these things that I feel very important, but one of the things I, f I thought was just so sad, and I think it was in Denver, I'm not entirely sure, it was the Occupy movement, and we saw, just a, if you just check this, I mean, burning their own flag, it's like, this is what really annoys me, you know, it's like, they don't understand their own history, they have no idea. What more or less led America on the path towards this corporatism, because that's what mercantilism is. Mercantilism is just another name for modern day what corporatism is. So there's a lot people don't understand about their history, and it just, it disappoints me seeing something like that, you know, it's just, it's disgusting to see people burning their own flag. People should be very proud of the United States. Don't, you know, take out uh, on your people and don't take it out on your own flag simply because of the fact that your governments became, you know, out of touch with the ordinary working class people. Uh, look, I'm someone who's proud to be British, I'm proud to be Scottish, but I'll never turn the b my back on my own country. Um, for that, you know, reason, uh, I passionately defend Britain, and of course, I'll passionately defend Scotland in that regard. Um, 
I just I, I cannot comprehend the idea of just burning your own flag. It's just, it's nonsense. It's what it really all comes down to is people who just do not understand their own history, and that's sadly, you know, part and parcel of it all. You know, uh, so you know I've, I've rattled on long enough. I just want to tell you, you know, all those you know people that hate their own country, you know, hate the United States of America, why don't you just leave, you know, <laughs> why don't you just go elsewhere, go go live in North Korea for Christ's sake, <laughs> I'm sure you'd love it over there, um, but in a, you know, in America, it's not perfect, the government's not perfect, you know, don't let that get to you, I mean, things can turn around, um, don't, you know, take it out in your own people and and start burning your own flag. It's just it's so silly. So people, uh, I would like to know your own thoughts on that whole situation. Um, if you comment below and you know, just whatever. So anyway, thank you for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful, happy Fourth of July. And uh, I don't even know how British people will celebrate this. <laughs> God knows. Um, so yes, I'd just like to say all the very best and have a good one. Cheers. Talk to you later. Alright folks, how's it gone? Uh, I, I know you've probably noticed I got ran over by a, a lawnmower, but uh, aye. <laughs> so aye, uh, I just got my hair styled today. Um, if you like my video, feel free to like it, uh, subscribe if you like my channel and of course you can check out my other videos uh, one there I've done recently on Sir Richard Branson and of course the one that's controversial you can go and check that out which is on the uh, Confederate battle flag so anyway people if you like my video feel free to like it, subscribe, whatever I shall talk to you later right? cheers